Here's Jimmy Smith with Peter McGinnity. Wholesale changes in the Armagh defence. Jared Reid, the fullback, is out. Marcus Stephen Lawn at right half back. John Rafferty has changed wings. Ho Damian Horace has changed wings. Mark McNeil is in at full back. A lot of changes, I'm sure. The management have taken note of moves in the defence and the Toronto attack. Immediately, Kieran Lafferty's in. And believe it or not, with one minute and 25 seconds gone, Tyrone for that foul of Kieran Lafferty. Have a penalty. The ball broken down from the middle of the field, eluded a couple of people. I think it was John Rafferty got a toe to it to keep it away from Peter Canavan. And here, Kieran Lockhart leaning into Kieran McGinney. McGinney disappointed, but referee McDermott in no doubt. It's Canavan against Brendan Tierney. Here comes Canavan. It's a goal. Peter Canavan back in the championship. People wanted him to make an impact in the championship, and what better start than this? Two minutes on the clock, a goal in the net. And here comes Peter Canavan. Beautiful skills by Canavan, a delightful ball carrier. Still Canavan. A shot, a magnificent point by Peter Canavan. Omar comes alive, and why not after a score like that? Brilliant point. The experienced players in the Armagh team, Jim McCoy and John Morris will be looking through to try and get their side back into this game. Mars, and that's a good ball from Marsden. Now it's Mackin. Marsden third. Callow Rourke couldn't get it, however. And there's the difference between the sides. Tyrone can pick their men out. Armagh can't. And because of that, it's Tyrone on the attack again. Kieran Lovren shrugs off John Rafferty. He's being pursued by McGinney. The transfer to Donaghy. The kick by the man from the Moy. He scored a point last year in the replay. Today, he's opened his account after 11 minutes. That's Paul McGrain. This is where the problem start for Armagh. They're getting plenty of possession, but it's trying to find a man. There's a better attempt. This time it's the shot. And after 14 minutes, Damon Marsden opens the Armagh account. Neil Smith. Only broke it down as far as Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick scoring through, pursued, still held on it, delivered it beautifully. And now it's Damien Horst after that kick in by Stephen Lawn. John Rafferty running across this area, running into trouble. Kilpatrick, Lawn. Oh, what a goal! What a magnificent strike by Stephen Lawn! Absolutely brilliant, and it's no wonder those flags are up in the air. Wonderful goal. Kilpatrick was a man who started it all, but Lawn had only one thought, squeezed it inside the post. Tierney, no chance. And now it's Cattler Lord. John Grimley. A lovely ball from Grimley, tried to pick out. David Marston. Now it's Mackin. Mackin versus Cassidy. Cassidy got the boot to it. It's still not averted the danger. But a Tyrone man's there, Faye Devlin, and a let up for the Tyrone defence. Yes, Mackin, for a moment, all of our ma hoped it was Ger Houlihan, but Mackin took it that little bit further, and the advancing Joe Cathy made a brilliant save. Jim McCarry wondering how he can get his team back into this game at the moment. They trail by those two goals. Mark McNeil collects it. Jim McConville, trying to get away from McGuire, leans down into him, draws the foul. Thought about the quick one. Collected it brilliantly in front of him, and then typical McConville leans into him. The foul there, the hand on the shoulder. Gary McGuire protests his innocence. At 25 metres out. Oh, beautiful strike. Mackin's fourth, and Marsden's fourth, and Armagh's fourth. Rear ball again. Kieran Carr collects it, drives it down. Oh, great catch under pressure by John Rafferty. As in goals, man. Has the last say in the first half. 
Arma getting ready to use those two substitutes, but Tommy McDermott has called this half to a close. A half where Tyrone got two goals, one from Peter Canavan and another one the 22nd minute by Stephen Lawn. And Tyrone go off leading at half time by two goals and three points to Arma's four points. The sun has come partially out as Arma's recently introduced substitute Martin McQuillan raises the crowd and tries to bring Arma back to life. John Grimley fires that ball over. Over the bar it goes. A brilliant strike by the big man from Arma Hart. A great point from Grimley. Arma will be hoping that the introduction of Martin McQuillan will make some inroads into this Tyrone defence. And it's certainly his first touch set up John Grimley for this mighty point. Will it be enough to lift Armagh at the start of the second half? Sideline ball, the Calivi man. He took the kick, he gave it to Marsden. Marsden put it over the bar. And Jim McCurry taking notes. Aidan Morris did very well, but his clearance wasn't great. Intelligent play by Mark McNeil, took the free quickly and Marsden here without the faintest glance at the goals throws it over his left shoulder and over the bar. Marsden's fifth point then. There's just a goal between them. The quality of ball into the Tyrone forwards has not as good as it was early on and it just makes a big difference to players like Peter Canavan. Well, that ball for Rourke has picked out Jared Houlihan. Houlihan decides to get in on the scoring act, and he certainly did! A brilliant score by Houlihan. Long-range points, raining over the bar at Oma, and they're all coming from the boots of Armagh forwards. The difference between good ball your forwards and bad ball. A bad ball into the Tyrone forwards, didn't get it. A great ball into Houli. Narrows his angle, moves in and gets it, oh, great score, three in a row for Armagh. Martin McQuillan, it's all Armagh, McGrain comes in, he's got a man outside him, Neil Smith, the right for the kick, up it goes, over the bar it goes, another magnificent score for Armagh, this time the man from Mullabon, Neil Smith the scorer, and there's just a point between them. Donnelly de McGuire and Tyrone attempt to build from the back, Peter Canavan, out inside his own half forwards in here. Picked out Brian Gormley well. The left-footed ball by Gormley. Look at Donaghy. Moved in to be the target man and proved to be so effective. Turned round, screwed it off the right foot and kicked it over the bar. A point in each half for Plunkett Donaghy. John Grimley could only break it down as far as Kieran Corr. Brian Gormley has it. Still Gormley. Very elusive. A beautiful score by Brian Gormley, the Craig Moore man. A brilliant point. Brilliant point by Brian Gormley. Picked up the ricochet off Peter Canavan and his marker and then made that wee bit of room for himself. Moving out onto his left, gets it over. Oh, he's pleased with that. Martin McQuillan, dangerously close to the line. Fires it across the field. Houlihan tries it with the right. Marsden's in. Marsden broke it down at times, and here comes Houlihan. Thought about maybe playing it on the ground. Pursued by Fergal Logan. Forced to come out field again to make an angle for someone. Martin McQuillan. Jim McConville can't get it. And Cassie allows it to go to the right. Not wide as he thought. In fact, it's a 45 for Armagh. An important kick for the Clannagail player. Strikes it delightfully over the bar. All the practice in David Park paying off here. Four points on margin. Yes, Kier McGurk has moved into full forward. Jared Hula moved out. Kier McGurk takes the quick free. Oh, brilliant save by Cassidy. And a magnificent shot there by John Rafferty, who was brilliantly picked out by Kier McGurk. Here we see it from Cassidy's angle. Rafferty coming in, hit it first time. Never took his eye at it. Oh, a mistake. Plunkett Donaghy draws Tierney and kicks it into the empty net. 
Look at Donaghy, captain of Tyrone in 86. And he certainly put them into the next turn of the Ulster Championship. Their first since 89. A tragic mistake here by Kier McGinney. Has played well throughout, went to take the bounce and fall. It eluded him on as it came off the ground. Donaghy here, perhaps ran too far, but referee Tom McDermott given the benefit of the doubt. The happiest man in Oma. Meanwhile, we have an injury to Adrian Kilpatrick, I think it is. Well, he's reached for the book. And the man he's going to speak to is John Grimley. The horseman shakes his head. And John Grimley has been sent off. Kieran Booker, longest serving member in the Armagh team. David Marsden, the man who's got most of their scores today. A goal by Marsden. In the dying seconds, it must be said. It hardly raised an Armagh flag, but it's given Armagh another goal on the scoreboard. And David Marsden has been proved over the years that he's, he's the master of goal chances, and that's another one to his collection. Hulahan, right-footed ball. Marsden catches it. And Plunkett Donaghy congratulates Kieran McGinney. Delighted to roam. They're into another Ulster semi final. It's their first since 1989. So delirious scenes at Oma, especially from the Tyrone supporters. The final score then Tyrone, three goals and ten points. Armagh, one goal and ten. So a game fairly well laced with incident there. Now time to get some views from our people here in New York. Fergie here is from County Down. What do you make of it? Uh, I thought it was a very determined performance by Tyrone. Um, you know, it, maybe it's time that they're starting to realise all the potential of the teams they've had in the past. I think there'll certainly be a force in Ulster football this year. I feel sorry for Armagh after losing the National League and now the All-Ireland champions of the National League finalists are gone in Ulster. John, that penalty that Tyrone got early on certainly settled them down, didn't it? It did. It was just unfortunate for Armagh it happened so early in the game, but it seemed to settle Tyrone to Ireland and on to score more. But any foul inside the box, I guess he has to give a penalty. But as a down man now, I'm a bit concerned. Thrown her in the semi final, so uh, there's a bit of a jinx in the down fella. So we hope going to go look after them in the semis. Yes, well, I suppose that would have to go down as another one of the summer's shocks in the championship. But in truth, Tyrone was always in command in that game. And there was certainly nothing uh, fortuitous in their victory today. A victory which secures them, as you heard there, a meeting with Donegal in a fortnight's time. All right, uh, Paddy Cullen, what did you think of that one? I suppose we wondered about Armagh's pedigree in the championship this year. Mm. Well, now we know. Yeah, it's, you know, I can feel sad for Armagh because, uh, you know, they came up with high hopes of, of winning the league and that fell through. And now they're out of the championship. Mm -hmm. uh, however, we must look to to Tyrone and say fair juice to them and they're, they're in there now. It was, it was really all Tyrone, but then Armagh came in for maybe first 10 or 15 minutes of the second half, shot some great scores, uh, but Tyrone just took over. Once Plunkett Donaghy moved in full forward, it was all over then. Who would you fancy, Tyrone and Donegal in that semi-final? Um, well, Tyrone are promising to come for years and years, so um, I'd go for Tyrone this time. All right, that's what Paddy Cullen says about this one. Incidentally, some of the phone calls on that match are quite interesting from Derry supporters. In fact, uh, Damien McLaughlin rang to say that our mass supporters did not take their defeat very well today. He said a few sections of the crowd were actually fighting and he thought that they should have taken their beat beating better than that. While Brenda Donaghy from Derry rang to say that some of the Armagh supporters were very unsporting at today's match. Uh, she was jeered by them uh, where she sat at the match. So that's the opinion of one or two of our phone callers tonight. A time for us then to take another commercial break here on the programme. Coming up next...